name's Sue Nagel and we're going out and about on the streets of Crystal Palace today to see how people feel about a cinema returning to Crystal Palace. Be careful with these stairs. I have strong views about a number of things, just like my local mm -hmm. residents here have. And one of them is about the cinema that we would like to put in this area. At one time there used to be a cinema here at the Bingo Hall site at 25 Church Road. Unfortunately, it went derelict and became a bingo hall. And now a church wants to use it. That if we had a church here, there would be an enormous parking problem. People wouldn't be able to park their cars. And frankly, a cinema is a much better thing to have around here to increase the commerce and the foot, footfall in this area. So I would say, most certainly, we badly need a cinema here, and that site is a very good one. Hello. I'm Andy Stem. This is my shop, Bambinos. And I've been in this road as a shopkeeper for 17, 17 years now. I think it's the most important decision about Crystal Palace in the last 30 years. And um, the way the decision goes will determine the viability of our town centre. If it goes the right way and we have a cinema, as it will be tremendous. It will regenerate Crystal Palace and Penge and Sydenham as it has done in other places, but if it doesn't go our way, it will be a disaster. I uh, lived here for about a year and a half, I've actually got a business here, I've got a shop just around the corner. A lot of the people that will be going to the cinema will be coming on foot, on bus. Oh, it would definitely help my business, because I think Crystal Palace is such a fantastic place. But it's kind of, you know, we talk about Crystal Palace Triangle, and it's becoming more of a destination. It's very bad for me if they open shops for me. Number one, to take all my park. I have parked there at least for one hour free. If you come Saturday, Sunday, you will never find park. It's not only me, it will affect everyone. I have experience of this for I used to live in Streatham, where we had, I used to go to the church, it was a Scottish Presbyterian church, and the car, they just, they just all came in cars. We couldn't park anywhere ourselves. In fact, we had to move because it changed the whole area. <laughs> Now, George, any idea how we get out of here? I don't know. I've been all over this place. I've been up this street, up that one, up that one. How are we going to get out of here? This decision will be very, very important. If it, if it becomes a cinema, the regeneration will be without any cost to the local authorities. And it's a gift. It's a gift. It was built in the 20s by an Australian. And the one next door is also a cinema built by the same guy. And, uh, it closed down, I think, in the, in the 60s. Believe me, if they open church, a lot of businesses will run away. Many people will close down. And if they open cinema, believe me, many people will come in this road. I think that the cinema is a great idea and it will boost the economy in the triangle and I think it's just a good idea because the nearest cinema here is Beckenham and you would have to either drive or take the bus there but I can walk up here and watch a movie instead. The weekend it's quite busy here but during the week it's a lot quieter. I think having a cinema yeah, just bring a lot more people from outside of Crystal Palace as well in. Another weekend, if they're showing yeah. some children movies, you could take the girls yeah, up. Just... My name is Phil Alexis. I'm a proprietor of a business along Church Road. I think that would be a fantastic opportunity for the business community and the residents and visitors to the triangle in Crystal Palace. You can keep all the business in locally because after you finish the movie, you can come out go to any one of the restaurants for lunch or dinner or whatever, you know, so it'd be quite nice to have to have that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank have you. Enjoy the rest of Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. I used to go to that cinema when I was a child. There's nowhere really to take children, young children, in Crystal Palace, um, except for the park. So it would be really nice if we had the cinema we could walk to. You know, I think Crystal Palace desperately needs a centre for creativity. There's a, and there's a real lack of places where people 
in a community actually encounter each other. The whole community have come together on this in a way we've never seen before. It's no. just people are just um, doing what they can and they feel passionately about it and they know how important it is. We go to a cinema in Brighton and they have a kids club on a Saturday morning with activities. Yeah, I would like cinema because that I mean, when I'm older and I go out on my own, I could like um, go to the cinema with friends. It's just more pro cinema, really, isn't it? Especially yeah. if it's a cinema like they have in um, Brixton, like the Ritzy or in yeah, an independent, House. yeah, yeah where lots of art movies. Yeah, with a good bar and yeah. activities and music, yeah. live music. Yeah, venue. Be yeah. brilliant. Yeah, be, be really, really good. good. Yeah. <laughs> The, the Ritzy in Brixton is fantastic, and if there was one a little nearer, that would be brilliant. Um, you know, it would be nice to see some great film. <laughs> I love film, but you know, I don't go out to watch it. I usually watch it on DVD because there's nowhere to go. I like that. Is it, I don't know if it's Art Deco, that building, if that's where it's at. I think uh, it would suit it. Local artists showing their work in the foyer, maybe local filmmakers, obviously art films, national films. I mean, the, the building's designed for a cinema, it's turned into a bingo hall, it should be left as a cinema. And I've always liked this road here, I've always felt there's something exciting might happen on this road. So, it'd be good if it did. I think it's a fantastic idea. When you look at um, what Crystal Palace is, yeah, it's a fantastic collection of art galleries, of fantastic bars, local restaurants. And I feel the kind of the clientele, the people who sort of populate Crystal Palace and make it what it is, would be perfect to go you know, for the type of people who'd use the cinema as well. Um, but I think the, the social idea of going to the cinema could, could be a lovely thing, you know. And I see people do that at the Ritzy with their kids. Um, but, you know, he, he likes Charlie Chaplin films. So if they're going to show them, and Peter Sellers you like as well, don't you? If you show films like that, that'd be great. Yeah. He wants to come to baby cinema. Yeah. <laughs> he loves baby cinema. Yeah, to keep him happy for many years. <laughs> positive things that could possibly happen in Crystal Palace right now. We need some kind of centre uh, for arts and entertainment. And I think that to have that, and uh, from what I've read about the people that want to do it, I think it would be absolutely perfect for us. I'm Joan Tindall. I've lived here since I was nine years old. We used to get into the Crystal Palace when it wasn't even open to the public through the bomb sites. At that time there were two cinemas. I worked in the larger one. But obviously different chains, so different films, and quite often though we would swap on our night off, we would go and look at a film in the other cinema. The Granada one was much smarter, much grander. A long way to the nearest cinema at the moment, especially if you don't have a car. Yeah, and we all tried to drive less, yeah. so yeah, be perfect. I want cinema just as much as anybody else. It's now or never really, so hopefully Bromley Council will show a bit of common sense and say yes. Um, in the 50s, I worked in the cinema as an usherette. Um, got some good memories of it.